Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is your first time here. My name is Latia B. And as you can see, I'm sitting down. So you already know what that means. Yes, this is a talking chit chat type of video. <laughs> So today's video, I'm just kind of piggybacking off of my previous upload where I give you guys some tips and answer questions about being a natural hair brand ambassador. But for today, I'm instead going to be talking about YouTube and just kind of giving you guys some of the tips or tricks that I've picked up along the way since starting my YouTube channel that have really helped me to grow my channel and, you know, just, you know, just get better. As a little bit of background, I started my YouTube channel back in January. And at that time, I was just at a point in my life where I was like, you know what, I want to want a youtube channel as a matter of fact i've been wanting to do youtube for many years but i pretty much just allow people and their judgment or what the judgment that i thought <laughs> that people would have kind of just hold me back from doing it so and i'm sure you guys have heard this story before if you've watched my other videos where i'm just sitting down talking to y'all telling y'all about my life <laughs> but um yeah so when i started my youtube channel although i tried to make a schedule for myself like as far as recording editing and uploading i did not stick to that channel i mean excuse me i did not stick to that um that schedule so i would like either record and then not edit for a long time and then upload or i just felt like my videos weren't as high quality as i wanted them to be so i felt like my content wasn't as popping <laughs> in the beginning and you know i just try to figure out different ways to help um make myself better and really just learn different things different tips and different tricks so the first thing that I did when I started my YouTube channel was made sure that I joined groups on Facebook. There are some really good support groups on Facebook for people who are just starting out on YouTube to really help you build a community. You know, a community of people that will support your channel, watch your videos, subscribe to you, and you know, and you would do the same in return. So it really is a support group. You know, you just interact with each other and make sure that you're supporting each other and all that good stuff. So that has been very helpful, especially with, you know, just starting out or when I had just started out to, you know, get my first few followers. And probably actually like the majority of my followers in the beginning probably came from the groups that I was in and then of course their support and their views and stuff like that kind of just pushed it above and yeah you know helped me get more subscribers and more views <laughs> another thing that I found along the way that you have to do if you want to start a YouTube channel um, is make sure that you are promoting yourself and you know aside from being in the groups make sure that if you have other social media channels like Instagram Twitter a Facebook like page for your your um, YouTube channel make sure that you are active on those platforms and really promoting yourself snapchat whatever wherever you can get your videos out or even make people aware of your videos then that is what you need to do I think after a while a majority of my um, views or subscribers came from my Instagram followers or people just who happen to come across you know my posts on Instagram and even um like on snapchat when i would post the link to my videos i feel like a lot of people came from those types of outlets so that was super super helpful for me let's see another thing that i feel has really boosted me recently so when did i get to buddy that was in like I don't know, maybe two, three months ago, I started using an extension called TubeBuddy. Basically, it's an extension for your internet browser that really helps you because there on the site, there's different types of memberships. You can have a pre-membership, pro, and then some other ones that I'm not going to pay for. But the free one, obviously, is free. You don't get access to as many of the tools on there. I have the pro edition, which was only like $43, I think, for the entire year. But it's really good because it allows you to see the analytics of your videos it gives you like promo materials so like links to your videos links to your latest upload your most popular upload um, a link to your channel and all this type of stuff and then you also get um, with the subscription that I have you also get the ability to have a percentage off of websites like epidemic music i think it's called epidemic sound something like that but that's where i get the majority of the music that i use in my um, youtube videos um you get like 25 percent off of your fee and for if you're a smaller youtuber it's only 15 dollars a month which i don't think is that bad but you get 25 percent off of that 15 dollars each month so again it's not that bad and you have access to all of the music on there and you are um you are able to use those music use that music 
in your videos without getting a copyright hit to your account. So TubeBuddy is just super dope. Um, besides those perks, it has like a tag explorer function where you know how when you are um, uploading your video, you can put tags um, in you know below your description or whatever. Like there's a little box that says tags or keywords or something like that. So with TubeBuddy, as you're typing in your tags, there will actually be a list that pops up that gives you some suggested tags to use. And then you can click on those tags and see how they're doing. Like what are some auto suggested tags or what's the historical search for these tags or where do you rank, you know, if you were to use this tag. And I'll be sure to put something up on the side or something like that just to show you guys my process of how I find tags for my videos. But that really helps too because I found that since I've started doing that, I have ranked much higher um, when people search for certain keywords on YouTube than I was before. So that was super, super dope. My next tip when it comes to, you know, being a YouTube creator is definitely, um, like I was saying before, being consistent, but most importantly, being true to yourself and just being authentic in your videos. Because you can tell when you're watching somebody's video and they are just doing the absolute most, like, it just comes off like they're just doing too much. Like, you can just kind of tell that it's not who they really are, like, they're low-key trying to front for the tube and it's like, okay, you can chill out a little bit because it's not that serious you know but if you are authentic and you are your true self that will you know come off to your um viewers and your subscribers and it'll really help you to form a connection with your subscribers and you know along the lines of forming a connection with your subscribers is making sure that you're interacting with them so if people comment on your videos make sure that you're responding to the comments because it makes them feel like you are engaged with them and will want to, um it'll allow it'll make them feel the the desire to come back and watch more of your videos so for me i try to well not i try i do i respond to every single comment that people leave on my videos it may be two three four days later <laughs> but i definitely respond to every comment because i just feel like it is so important it's like you took the time out to come watch my video and not only did you take the time out to come watch my video you took the time out to actually leave me a comment so the least i can do is make sure that i'm responding to your comment or your question or your suggestion whatever it is that you're saying in this comment to show you that I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you. And I feel like people are most responsive when they feel appreciated. Something that I learned very early on is that you have to also identify what your niche is. So when I first started YouTube, I already knew that it was going to be natural hair related because I mean... I have natural hair, I love natural hair, I love all things natural hair, I love making people feel encouraged about their natural hair and loving their natural hair and embracing it, yeah, you know, the list goes on. So it is important that you find your niche um, because you don't want your channel to be all over the place. Now for me, I definitely want to start incorporating more things into my channel, but I want to also make sure that they align with what I already have on my channel. So you may see um, that I have skincare related videos thrown in every now and again. So that's something that I'm also, you know, really interested in. So that's something that I also incorporate. But for the majority of my audience, they are coming to my channel for my natural hair related videos. So if you know what you want your... Um, like your area of expertise to be, then stick with that and, you know, incorporate things into your channel and see how people respond to them. But if you have like 50 different topics that you do on your channel, for me personally, I'm probably not going to be like an avid watcher of your channel because I like to watch people who know what they're talking about, you know, when they're talking about whatever it is that they're talking about. So if I go to your channel and you're talking about sports and you're talking about fashion and you're talking about makeup and you're talking about um real estate and you're talking about this and you're talking like i'm just like okay but this is just too much <laughs> it's just too much now that's not to say that you can't do that because i'm sure there are a lot of um you know successful youtubers who do have a wide range of topics that they discuss on their channel but i honestly just personally prefer channels that have like a certain topic that they like to stick to the majority of the time the last thing i want to say because i do not want this video to become too long i'm looking at my timer right now and i'm at about 16 minutes <laughs> and i'm definitely going to be editing this video down but the last thing that i want to say is just to enjoy the process and don't get caught up in the hype like it's easy to come on youtube and see your favorite um, youtuber with like 
over a million subscribers and however many views doing this doing that making money from doing whatever they we all start somewhere so when you start your youtube channel just remember that you do have to work from the bottom and work your way up now mind you i only have 600 and some subscribers at this point it's not a lot but it's okay. When I first started, I was like, dang, I want to be like, you know, yeah, da 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 da. And I want to be like them. I want to have subscribers like them. But then I realized, I was like, they had to start somewhere too. So as long as I'm making sure that I'm always, you know, elevating myself, I will eventually get there. So, you know, just enjoy the process, make the best out of it. Don't get so caught up in it and, you know, think that, oh yeah, if I don't get this many followers, I, mean, I keep saying followers, this is not Instagram. <laughs> Don't get so caught up in thinking that if I don't have this many subscribers, then it's not worth it. It is worth it. If it's something that you want to do, if your heart is in it, if it allows you to be creative and allows you to be artistic and allows you to, you know, know, know yourself better, then just do it. Just stick with it. As long as you're doing what you need to do to make sure that you're putting yourself out there and um, garnering the support that you need to take your um, challenge to the next level, then you'll be absolutely fine, child. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> just enjoy the process. Live your life. Live your better life. I don't like saying live your best life because once you reach the best, then you can't get any better. So I prefer to say live your better life. Yeah. So let's do that. All right. So if you enjoy watching this video, then do not forget to hit that like button. Let me know down in the comment section if there is something that you would like to add to this conversation. And definitely do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Y'all know I love y'all so much. And I will see you in my next video. And do not forget y'all, stay dazzling.